Greetings, I'm James Gillen with ESETI, and we have a wonderful Christmas message for you. We're celebrating these times of uh, shifts and changes, and we've got uh, some interesting things unfolding. And this message is going to be probably as controversial as the one that was brought 2,000 years ago that people seem to miss. In our ancient history, it's replete with visitors from different star nations, very ancient ETs, you might call them, that have come and gone. Some were very self-serving, some were extremely tyrannical and demanding, and some were all loving and all forgiving and very service-oriented. Uh, they served in the evolution of humanity. Humans have been coming and going for over 600 million years. The ancient archaeology that they're finding now is, is all proving this. I mean, they're finding ornate uh, chains, gold chains, that were made by some very civilized beings. They're finding uh, beautiful pottery that's been painted. They're finding all kinds of technologies that shouldn't be there. You know, spark plugs, diodes, you know, in rock that's, that's millions and millions of years old. And this is all pointing to this fact that we have been coming and going on the earth for a long time. We are the offspring of these ancestors and we've had to start over as primitives again and again and again due to great wars, to natural cataclysms, pole shifts, floods. All of these things have happened pretty much psychically on a regular basis where civilizations have risen uh, to the height of their technology and have been gone down because of misuse of that technology. Really the true story about Jesus if you get into the, the ancient text, you'll realize that he was actually born more around July. They call him the Lion of Judea because the, the trees, the fig trees, were ripe. Uh, everything in the story points to the summer, not the winter. His, his mother, Mary, was actually part of the first colonies that came from Lyra. And her genetics were very pure. And, and what happened was they used Mary and Another being that appeared in the picture, which was non-physical, a non-terrestrial being, appeared to Joseph when he was very upset and saying, I've not laid with this woman, I have not known this woman, why is she pregnant, I'm not going to marry her. Well, this being appears from a higher level, this being appears and says, you know, this is God's child, this is my child, your room is your own. That was a non-terrestrial being, he was extraterrestrial, he was other dimensional. This was necessary. Uh, to create the vehicle that could handle the soul of Jesus, which came from the seventh level, the seventh plane of bliss. So Jesus had already mastered all material need. Uh, he totally became one with God. He, he, that was his message. And he was done with the physical experience. And he decided to return and help people understand the same principle, what he transcended. He came to do the final initi initiation, which is to uh, transcend the greatest of all fears which is death itself and he was very well trained in this he went through all the Egyptian mystery schools he went to India he went to Tibet he learned from all the greatest masters and he had totally control total control of his environment his physical body everything he was a master so basically his message was uh, God is within the temple is within he said ye are all gods his prayer was Beloved Father, let them become one as we are one. That was his prayer. He wanted everybody to become one with the one consciousness that encompasses all consciousness on all planes and dimensions throughout the multiverse. And that is within each and every one of you. You're multidimensional in aspect. You're not just this body. You're not just this personality. You're a spirit that has a body and a personality. And that spirit is multidimensional. And you have ancestors throughout all of these dimensions, and you've experienced all these dimensions before you came here, and now you're here. So this is the grand awakening, and we need to go back to the basics, the simplicity of seeing the Creator in all creation, you know, in everyone, in everything, in all life.
and start living in harmony with each other and the planet. That is the message. The future is not set in stone, but I will tell you this, nature is not happy with some of the choices that have been made. And she is going to be moving in a direction that is going to be part of her ascension or healing process. And so we do have a choice. We either go with that process, we go with that flow, we tap into nature, we tap into the God within, and and go on that journey and live in harmony with each other and the planet, or we take the downward spiral of the tyrants, and we're going to be led into war and disease and poverty and total social, economic, and environmental collapse. Those are the two options right now. The lines have been drawn, and uh, the choices are being made, and at any time you can make that choice. We all need to get aligned with the awakening and healing process and, uh, and divert our energies and our consciousness into this. We need to put an end to the tyranny that's happening right now, the terror, the fear, the, the suppression, the separation program. All of this is just nonsense. It needs to end. So there's a force behind this flow. It's an intense force. It's beyond any imagination. It's a consciousness, it's an energy, it's a frequency. And this whole planet, this whole solar system, this whole universe is shifting, it's changing, it's moving to the next level. The next level, you cannot take the anger, the againstness, the separation, the reckless greed, uh, all of this nonsense, you can't take it into the next level. Government is not the solution. They have no idea who these beings are, especially the benevolent ones that are coming in. They have no contact with them. They don't know who they are. They're beyond their comprehension. They do have contact with the low-level beings because they do special rites and rituals and uh, invoke these demonic, reptilian, low-level contacts for their own self-gain. And that's another story in itself. But that story is coming to a close as well because those frequencies are no longer acceptable on the planet. My message to you this Christmas is to realize that yes, there, you know, there was a Jesus. Yes, there were many Jesuses that came and went. There are many great prophets of every culture. They all had the same message and the message was to love God with all your heart, love your neighbors yourself, and you know, love the Creator and all creation. That was their message. That was the common thread between all these cultures. It doesn't matter if you believe this or not. All that matters is that you go within the heart and that you come from the heart and you allow love to be the one law, the law that supersedes all other laws and that was the teachings of all the masters. It, it has nothing to do with images and with old doctrines and altered scriptures. It has nothing to do with any of this. It has everything to do with love, loving God, loving your neighbor and expanding your image of God far beyond the little old man with a beard and you know with the laptop that has lightning bolts to hit, punish and, and destroy and harm those who do not believe in his word uh, it doesn't work like that I've died I've crossed over I've experienced the seventh plane of bliss it's the most loving joyous blissful energy you can imagine it's a golden white light it's alive it's conscious you're part of that light it surrounds you it's the most loving joyous safe and secure energy you'll ever experience. It's beyond words. And basically that light is within each and every one of us. And we can expand that light and become one with that light. We can become one with God, Creator, Source, Spirit, whatever you want to call it. We can all become one with that and we can allow that love to flow through us in everything we do. And that is the ultimate power in the universe. We are beings that can channel the full love of God through us. We're going to have to master any need for love and acceptance and approval outside of ourselves and we're going to have to become love. We're going to have to love, accept and approve of ourselves in the days to come. We're going to have to stand in our own self-authority and we're going to have to stand for the one law that supersedes all laws and that is the law of love. Uh, that's my message for, for uh, this Christmas holiday. Uh, I think Jesus was an awesome man an awesome being. I think all the other prophets, saints and sages were awesome beings. I think every culture had their prophets, their saints and their sages and all of them focused on the God within. And maybe it's time we see the God within each and every person, everything, everyone 
and start living accordingly.